Let's translate the Barakah. One from David, blessing the Lord in 1 Chronicles 29, verses 10 through 13. So at this point, it's a narrative, and we have our conjunction and our verb, Barach. So this is to bless, and he blessed. So David's doing the blessing, and David blessed who? The Lord, Yahweh. Uh, this is le-e-ne, le-e-ne. Uh, so typically you have the preposition le, and then I. So to the I, or in this case, eyes, it is dual. Um, and it's the eyes of all the assembly, kahal. So this is the assembled Israel. It's related to kol. This is contingent, but you can see the related noun is community. And here's 1 Chronicles 29, verse 10, assembly. So the assembled Israel, and David said, this is the common Jewish uh, blessing, whether in, in a group setting or individual setting. And as far as I know, this is the only time it occurs here outside of the Psalms in the Hebrew Bible. So you might hear this phrase a lot, but this is the only instance I, I'm aware of, uh, and it occurs in, in Chronicles on the lips of David. So, blessed, or blessed, you, Lord. So that's a fanciful way of saying, blessed are you, Lord, God of Israel. This is a construct, so God of Israel. Now this is not Israel the people, this is Israel the ancestor. How do we know that? Because the next word is Av, which is father. So literally, our father, Israel, our father. Uh, but in this context, you, you could translate it ancestor, our ancestor. I'm just going to say father. You know, we we use our nation's forefathers, right? Uh, our church fathers. Uh, it's totally appropriate to translate it as father. So blessed are you, the Lord, God of Israel, the God of Israel, because Israel is definite. And therefore, this construct makes this definite. So, blessed are you, the Lord, God of Israel, our for, our Father, our ancestor, from forever and until forever. So, in English, we would probably translate that from forever and ever. So, blessed are you forever and ever. And this idea of blessing, Barach, this is passive cal. Masculine singular, so blessed, filled with strength, or just simply being full. And this is a praise, adoration of God. First Chronicles 29.10, right here. So this is a, a praise formula, blessed. I know it sounds weird to bless God. Normally we talk about, we think about being blessed by God. But this is a totally appropriate way of of addressing God. You're praising God. And this praise is to go up forever and ever. If you want to show your support and sport some cool merch, pick up this Greek Jesus is Lord shirt from the merch store today. Now, literally, it says to you, Lord, Hag Hagdula. So to you, Lord. And then there's no verb. So uh, literally, it would be to you, Lord, is the greatness, the uh, greatness. To you, Lord, is the greatness and power and the glory and victory and the majesty. You could translate this, uh, yours, yours, O oh Lord, is greatness, the power, the glory, the majesty, or the victory and the majesty. Um, I'm just going to say to you, Lord is. So what is Idullah here? This is greatness, great deeds, but just simply greatness. And it's related to Gadol, to grow up, become strong, be great, be important, become great wealthy, to be great. So yours is the greatness and yours is the power. Givura. Givura. This is strength of an animal, but it can also be strength of God. And the glory, tefera, tefereth. This is beauty, ornament, glory, splendor, radiance, splendor, fame, honor. This is used of God, 
So fame, honor. Yours is the honor and victory. Netzach, Netzach, Netzach. So splendor, glory, duration, success. And there's the sense of victory. Although the lexical data suggests this is splendor, glory, and majesty. Choth, Choth, majesty. This is weight, power, splendor. Tichol, Bashamayim. So this could mean according to all in the heavens and in the earth. The phrase ends with va'aretz. So this could mean thus that indeed. I think it's going to be verily indeed. So indeed, everything in the heavens and in the earth. To you, Lord, is the kingdom. This is singular. And the exalted one. So this is a Hithpile participle with the hey definite article prefix. So nasa means to lift, carry. But Hithpile, which is way down here, there it is, imperfect, to raise oneself, arise. So this is reflexive, raise oneself. So to you, Lord, is the kingdom and the exalted to all to Rosh, head, to all to head. That doesn't make sense. The subject is still you and the Lord. To you, the Lord is the kingdom. And you are exalted. Being Hithpael, it means something along the lines of raise oneself, arise. Now this gloss here says, and whoever raises you as leader, but it's not whoever, the subject is you, the Lord, to you, the Lord, is the kingdom. So I reject this, whoever raises you as leader, but I think it's, it is, and you are raised as leader of all. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Is this word to be translated as whomever you raise? Or do you think it's translated in reference to Yahweh? as I do, that you are raised. Let me know in the comments. So this Rosh is a noun, common, masculine, singular, absolute. Care of the head, individual, person, head, height, peak, upper end, beginning, leader, chief of everyone. La could be in the genitive and Chol here meaning of all, of everyone. And riches or wealth, and honor or glory, heaviness, burden, riches, reputation, importance, glory, splendor, distinction, honor, testimonial, honor, glory to Yahweh from before you. The so riches and glory are from before you, meaning your presence. Front, head, front, face of God with prepositions. El Pene, Ifne. From, before, on account of, by, in front of, in front, before, before, according to, away from. So this is our exact word here, but it doesn't, in this context, you can tell it does not mean away from. Ridges or wealth and glory come from you. It's this idea of source. You are the source of riches and glory. So they are before you, meaning they come from you. And you rule is cal participle masculine singular over all or over everyone and in your hand is power and strength and in your hand is greatness and strength for everyone and in your hand is power this is not the same word as before we have koch kocha so violence, power, property, strength, power is in your hand. And now this one we saw before, did we not? Ivura, there it is right there. We called it power before, so we'll call it power here. But ko, ko koha, strength, power. We'll say strength for that. In your hand is strength and power. And in your hand is, and in your and 
greatness. This is not the same as before. This was a noun. Now we have the verb. So here it's not simply just greatness. This is PL, infinitive construct. So make greater, to praise, to honor, distinguish, with mean. Well, mean isn't attached to it. Oh, it's not, it's not this one. It's with words to exalt, to praise, to honor, distinguish. So in your hand, to great and chazak, also PL, make firm, strong, strengthen, with la, encourage. So this is encourage and this is to praise. In your hand is praise and encouragement for everyone. And 13, and now our God, Hifil, participle, masculine, plural, absolute. This is Yada, to praise. And now, thanks our God to you. There's no verb here. So we give thanks or praise. We praise, and now we pr we praise our God. Here we see Lach. Here we, we had Lach. So this was praise. And now we have praise again. And praise, we praise your glorious name. This is PL. Now we praise our God. So we praise you. But now our God, we praise you. La here will be untranslated, but it marks the direction of this praise. And that's to you. And, and we being implied, we praise your glorious name. To name of glorious beauty ornament glory splendor radiance magnificent Ooh, magnificent that's awesome now what's the difference between yada and halal in the hifil it's to praise confess which is a, a, a tantamount to giving thanks so i'm going to translate that as giving thanks we give thanks to you and we praise your magnificent name what is magnificence Splendorous, it's glorification, majesty, fame, beauty, beautiful name. So, to translate, And David blessed the Lord in the presence of all the assembly. And David said, Blessed are you, the Lord, the God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. To you, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. Indeed, everything in the heavens and in the earth. To you, Lord, is the kingdom, and you are raised as leader of everyone. And the riches and the glory are from before you, and you rule over everyone. And in your hand is strength and power, and in your hand is praise and encouragement for everyone. And now, our God, we give thanks to you, and we praise your magnificent name. If you liked this video, hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe while you're at it and watch this video. Learn how to translate the Shema in Deuteronomy 6 verses 4 and 5. We'll see you next time.